Today we're going to compare the Moore Micro Preamps to the GE200. <laughs> What's up everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Taylor and I do all sorts of guitar related stuff here on my channel. If that's something you're into, make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing and click the bell. Several of you guys have asked me what the difference in between the Moore Micro Preamps and the GE200 is. So today what I wanted to do is compare the Micro Preamps to the emulation in the GE200. And I only have two Micro Preamps. I have the MK3 right here, which is emulating a Mesa Boogie Mark III even though it doesn't have a five band EQ, but you know, whatever. And the brown sound, which is emulating a 5153. So I'm just gonna play through these things and compare them real quick. And then at the end of the video, I will actually show you what they sound like compared to each other in a live mix. What I'm hoping to do is answer the question that I'm sure a lot of people have. I know I had it when I was first shopping around for these things is, is it worth it to just spend $100 on one amp tone or should you spend $300 and get a plethora of amp tones and effects? Today we're going to find out. Here's what the brown sound sounds like on the red channel. Sounds pretty awesome. I'll tweak the settings a little bit so you can hear how much control you have over the tone. Let's switch over to the blue channel and see what that sounds like. I should mention that I can't really hear that through my monitors right now because the volume difference is so dramatic. And I have this pedal pushed all the way up. I don't think that's an issue if you're running it into a power amp or something like that. But if you're running it directly into an interface, it's pretty quiet. Okay, so there's a decent amount of tonal variety there as far as gain structuring goes. The blue channel is obviously way less gaining. Let's switch over to the GE200 and listen to the 5153 setting on the GE200. <laughs> I'm actually gonna try and match the settings I have over here on the brown sound pedal. One major difference that the GE200 has over the micro preamp pedals is it has a presence knob, which the micro preamp pedals don't have, so. Whatever, we'll just put it out there. All right, 
I'm just using the cab that's paired with the amp in the GE200. I haven't messed around with any of the cab settings. Um, you can't change any of the cab settings in the Moore micro preamps, so I'm not gonna dive into those. I think it sounds really close. It's hard to tell when I'm sitting in a room and listening to my monitors that are over there, but I think it sounds pretty comparable. I'll be really interested to listen while I'm editing and see how much of a difference there really is. And if you see some text pop up here on the screen, that's because I noticed a dramatic difference. Okay, since we're already hooked up to the GE200, let's switch over to the Mark III amplifier and see what that sounds like. Hey, there it is. Okay, sounds pretty cool. You can hear there's like a weird shaping happening there with the mid. It's not just like, you know, turning the mids up or down. It's like there's some shaping happening there. And I almost wonder if they did that because it's missing the five band EQ that like the Mark series amplifier would have. So kind of interesting. All right, let's switch over to the uh, MK3 pedal here and see how that sounds in comparison. <laughs> The first thing that I noticed right away is that this pedal is actually dramatically louder than either the GE200 or the Brown Sound pedal. So, you know, if that's important to you, I don't know. <laughs> Let's dial this in to match the GE200 and see how big of a difference there is. Okay, sounds pretty close, but I think that tonally this pedal is much different from the GE200 than the Brown Sound is. Again, that's based off me listening to it from my monitors that are over there, so take that with a grain of salt. Alright, so now that we have a rough idea of what these things sound like, let's cut over and A-B them in a mix.
All right, guys, how do you think the micro preamps compared to the GE200? Do you think one outperformed the other? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.